Hello and welcome to B3, our collection of videos for novice beekeepers by a novice. This is our night vision on the camera. It just catches the bottom of the frames at the entrance. How lucky was that? As you can see, there's still a lot of activity going on at night in the hive. It is day 54 since arrival and my direct contact with bees is approaching about one hour now, but I don't think this is going to affect my novice status yet. Since our last video, I've installed a wireless temperature and humidity meter from a Maplin weather station. This has had some surprising results. Also in this video, we're going to show our improved crown board and started a honey box with one flow frame in it, so that we can see whether the bees have any preference for wax foundation on a normal frame versus the plastic flow frame. Let's see if the bees have any preference. Time for bees to vote. A referendum for bees. But first, let's have one of those random what the fudge moments. Well, what happened was, this crow flies down, looks at the hive, then goes and tries to sit on the front as if it's a perch, slides off, and wait a minute, he's got something in his mouth. He's nicked one of our bees. Dastardly villain. What's wrong with this crown board? Apart from having only the undercoat on, it's not as functional as it should be. We should make an improvement, I think. So, here's an improved version made with plastic, so we can see what's going on inside the hive when the roof comes off. On a box we can see the top of the frames, but in reality, with drawn comb and covered in bees, we won't be able to see too far down into the hive. The next problem might be the weight of the feeder. Testing it with water it seems fine, although of course sugar water is a lot heavier, but it does look like we won't have to reinforce it underneath. Well, let's see how the new crown board is working, and this is amazing, it's great. Uh, I can look in the hive and the bees can't get out, and I can see everything going on. This is wicked, absolutely amazing. Whoa, oh my goodness, look, they're all busy. Bees apparently are supposed to sleep at night, but whoa. They're as active as anything. Um, the four frames on the left were in there originally. They've been drawing out the comb. So I put the flow frame in there and two more uh, extra frames. And they're still very busy on the first uh, four frames. And there's a few bees on the others. Oh, there's a few bees on the new one. This is my um, wireless weather meter. Humidity and temperature. Uh, it's supposed to be on a frame, but we'll get round to that. Fortunately, they don't seem to be um, gluing it together with a load of propolis. Uh, and the sugar feeder has been used at night. It's getting a bit thick in there. I'm going to have to dilute that down, I think. But there it is. Uh, they have access to a bit of sugar through the night as well. There seem to be quite a few of them in there. I'm going to take this off, of course, to uh, try and get some honey out of it. Wait a minute, look at that lot. Well, as the boat goes for plastic versus traditional comb, they seem to be quite clean, cleaning that out there. There's quite a few bees down there. We'll have a look next week and see how they're doing. Uh, I think work in progress is more important, so they're, they seem to be like licking off the wood, cleaning it up. Uh. Oh well, um, this is quite uh, interesting. It's nice to see what they're doing at night. Uh, they can hang upside down on the plastic as well, so they can crawl about on that okay. And uh, uh, oh my goodness, this, they're very busy. It's amazing, really. These guys are working. Or girls are working in uh, complete utter darkness 24 hours a day getting on with their jobs and look at that now I'm sure there was a load of um, comb on top of them frames and they've cleaned them all off and this is the uh, uh, queen uh, excluder there oh, there's a lot of bees under the uh, temperature thing but uh, they seem to have cleaned all the comb off um, I think there's an issue over bee space with these spaces I have to look into that because they're gonna it looks like they're building a bit of comb on top of these frames as well 
But they're very, very busy. So about three quarters of our two boxes are now full of bees. Uh, ah, it looks like, yes, at the joins and around that screw, they're sticking a load of propolis down. That's giving me an idea about putting uh, frames together. Maybe the bees could do it for us. Here's our corret sheet from the base of the hive. The debris is the accumulation of about six weeks. At the top of the screen you can see the darker rows are from under the original five starter frames. At the bottom the lighter ones are from below the three new frames and foundation. Now you could pull this out once a week and brush off the material for salvage. It's mostly bits of wax cappings but you can see a few odd pollen balls too. But really not enough to collect. However, there is a girl here already. Maybe I could adjust it a bit to be a pollen collector. As I've stuck the hive on a couple of milk crates, I can't get to the base to test this out. Actually, looking at the base, we need to make that better too. We need ventilation, debris collection, pollen collection, and thinking ahead to the winter, put a bit of insulation inside as well. This Corex ball is also in a further mess because I put a queen excluder on, so I could put a honey box on the top the previous week. There was a lot of comb on top of the frames which broke leaking out honey. However, I was taking the ball out because from the wireless temperature we were hitting 33 degrees centigrade and I think it was getting a bit warm in there. I noticed about 10 bees fanning at the entrance. When the rush hour came, there was a bad traffic jam, which is not what we want. With the ball off, we're still hitting 33 to 35 degrees centigrade and even 36.3 one day but the bees are not fanning at the entrance anymore and blocking it up. Well, it was quite interesting to see last night what was going on in the dark and here during the day it's more or less the same thing. Uh, ah, still, still get reflection problems. You can see I've got my hat on. I've got the veil up because the bees don't come to the back of the hive that much. And they're doing pretty much the same what they were doing last night. A lot of cleaning. Uh, they seem to be moving a little bit faster. And gosh, there's a lot of bees down those frames. That's the original four in that uh, we're drawing comb out on. And there was actually, it seems quite a few down on that plastic frame. I'm just not getting the camera down the gap there. Oh, yep, you can see there, there's quite a few bees down there. And. Not so much on the next wooden frame. Uh, in the middle here, oh yeah, there's a few down there now. Yep, and down still there, it's spread out all over. There seems to be more bees in the feeder. They seem a little bit more active, I suppose, because the temperatures are warmer, so they're going to be moving about a little bit more faster and getting on with their jobs a bit faster, hopefully. Uh, Yep, there's uh, a bit more reflection there. There's a lot of bees packed down there. We, I can actually get a glimpse of a bit of comb now and again. Uh, the colours look really good in the bright sunlight. It doesn't seem to bother them. And we can get a really good close look in without them flying up. Now I suppose you could tr check for Varroa on this because uh, you can play it back, slow it down, freeze it. So taking pictures is a good idea. Uh, there we go. They don't seem to spread themselves that much. The priority seems to be given to the first four frames that they were drawing the comb on. So they're sort of like not so many over this side. You would think they might spread out more because of the empty space, but they do seem to uh, concentrate where the job's most important which is getting that new comb ready. Still cleaning my temperature meter there. So, well. It's all looking pretty good. They're cleaning everything up. I was a bit concerned that maybe over time the um, purse, the acrylic rather, would get a bit mucky and grimed up but the bees I think are going to clean that off for us so that's not going to be an issue so it should stay nice and clear for the rest of the year next time we're going to look at painting
these are various options and I'm going to stir my own brush and offer my opinion also made a landing board for the top entrance as they're not using it much at the moment maybe this will help we need to look inside and see the flow frame versus wood frame situation ah yes and look at daily temperature variation in the hive so subscribe and come back see us again soon ah forgot the flow frame fell apart again and I was supposed to do a video about how to put it back together Meh, we'll have to put it in the next one.